All right then my friends, so now we have the basic layout up and running. Next, I wanna take a look at the card component. So pretty much every UI library has their own variation of a card component and Chakra UI is no exception to that rule. So here on the docs, you can see we have this component and if you scroll down, you're gonna see all the different types of content we can place inside a card. So we can have card headers, we can have images inside a card, a card body, card footers, etc. Now. On our site, I wanna change the grid of squares on the dashboard that we have to be a grid of tasks, where each task is gonna be inside its own card component. So to do this, I'll be fetching a little bit of data from a JSON file that I've already set up inside a data folder. Now, this JSON file is on the course file, so you don't have to type it all out yourself. You can just grab it from GitHub. Remember, the link to that is down below. So if we take a look at that file, we can see that we have a bunch of JSON objects where each object is a task. And each task has a unique ID, a title, a description, an author, and an image URL. Now that image URL is a path to an image inside the public folder, and it represents the image of whatever author created that task. The idea being that eventually we're gonna add little avatars to each card as well. But the first step is to fetch this data. And to do that, we'll be using JSON server to spin up a dev server and generate an endpoint for this JSON resource or this task resource rather inside the JSON file. So in order to do this, you'll need JSON server installed, which you can do by going to a terminal and typing npm install hyphen G. So it's installed globally on your computer and then JSON hyphen server. So once you've pressed enter to install that, we can then use JSON server to watch that JSON file by typing JSON hyphen server, then hyphen W to watch a file. And then we need a path to the file, which is dot forward slash data to go into the data folder and then forward slash DB dot JSON, which is the file name and then press enter. And we should get back an endpoint at which we can reach the tasks data or the tasks resource inside the terminal. So now we can use the endpoint to fetch the data for the dashboard component. So the way we're gonna fetch that data inside this component is by using a loader. Now a loader function is something new to one of the later versions of React Router DOM. You don't need to use this. You could use a use effect hook inside this component and fetch it inside that. I'm gonna use a loader. And if you wanna learn more about loaders and how they work with React Router DOM, definitely check out my React Router in-depth course. The link to that is down below. Anyway, to create a loader, we just need to export a function from this component, which is where we're fetching the data from. So I'm gonna export a const called tasks loader. We set that equal to an async function. And inside that function, all we need to do is fetch that resource. So we say const response is equal to await fetch. And then we can paste in the endpoint, which was localhost 3000 forward slash tasks. Remember, we have to have JSON server running to grab those tasks, okay? So we await that and we have the response. And all we need to do is return the response.json. And when we do that, we can access that data inside this component. And the way we do it is by using a hook from React Router DOM. So we can say const tasks is equal to use loader data. I'm gonna click on that to auto import it from React Router DOM. And that grabs us the data from this particular thing right here. Now, at the minute that won't work because we've not registered the loader for this component. Yes, we have that function and yes, we export it, but we need to register a loader with this component. And to do that, we have to go to the app component where we have our routes and it's for the index route, the dashboard. All we need to do is tack on a loader prop right here and specify what function should be used for the loader for this component. Now that function was this one that we exported, tasks loader. So we just type in tasks loader, click on that so it imports it from that particular page or that particular file, and then we can save it. So now when we visit this route, then React is gonna look at this particular loader function. It's gonna fire that function and it's gonna fetch the data and since we return that data right here, that's what we get back when we use this hook, use loader data. So now we have the tasks and we can use those tasks inside this component. Now what I'm gonna do is get rid of all of these boxes right here because we wanna output now each task, not just a box. 
Now, before we start playing around with cards, let me first of all get rid of this padding right here. We don't really need that anymore. And I'm going to change this min width to be 300 pixels instead. So they're a little bit wider, each card. So each card is essentially an item in this simple grid. Now we need to map through the tasks. So let's say tasks and double ampersand and then tasks dot map. Now the reason I do this is to check we have tasks before we try to map through them. So for each one, we fire a function and we get access to that task and we can return some template for each task. Now all I'm going to do for now is just return a div for each one and output the task title. So remember, the title was a property on each task, this thing right here. And we're going to use the ID as the key for the div. So task.id. So fingers crossed, this should work. I'm going to save that and come to the browser. And now you can see we're cycling through the different tasks that we fetch and they're being output in the grid. Now it looks terrible, but we are going to create a card component now instead of this little div right here. So let's delete that and instead use the card component. So then let's say card and you want to click on this to auto import it up here. Now remember we need a key prop on whatever the parent element is inside this function that we're returning. So let's say key is equal to the task dot ID. So we can pass this key prop through to these components that Chakra provides us. Okay, so after that, I also want to apply a few styles to each card. And in fact, we won't do that just now. We'll output the card and see the default styles, then we'll start to customize it. So there's different things we can have inside a card, right? We can have a card header, a card body. We can also have a card footer. So let's do each one of those. Let's do a card header first. I'm gonna click on this to import it. And inside the card header, we might have, I don't know, something like a title. We'll come back to it in a second. We're also gonna have a card body. So card body, click on that to import it. And inside the card body, we might have a little bit of text. And then also we'll have a card footer. These are all components. Click on that to import it. And inside the card footer, we might have a couple of buttons or a like icon or something like that. Okay, so let me just do any old text in here. We'll just do a text component and say card header. And then I'm going to copy that and I will paste it down here in the body. And then I will paste it again inside the footer just so we can see what these look like. If we go to the browser, okay, so we can see these cards and you might not see it very well on the screen, but you should see a subtle shadow all the way around it, soft corners. So that is the card component. And we have a card header, we have the body and the footer. They all say header, but three different places in the card, right? So now we actually want to replace these things with actual content. So then let me get rid of all those. And I'm going to start with the card body. So I just want to output the description. We have a description property right here. So let me do a text component. And inside that, we want to output the card dot description. Now it's going to be black text. Oops, not card. It should be task description. Cannot type. Okay. So this is black text right here. I want to make it light gray. So we can either do that using the text component or the card body. So let's do the card body. We'll say color is equal to gray and then dot 500. So it's like a medium gray. Save that and that looks a little nicer. And that's all I want for the card body. Next, I'm going to do the card header. Now this is a little bit more complex because what I want eventually is to have a little avatar on the left and then on the right I want to have a heading and also the author under the heading. So to do this we're going to use the flex component so we can sit the avatar on the left and then the other stuff on the right in the heading. So let's do a flex component and import that and inside here we want a box and this is going to be for the avatar later on. Now I'm going to give this a width of 50 pixels and also a height of 50 pixels. And this is just a placeholder for now for the avatar since we've not covered that component. We'll replace it later on with the avatar. For now, let's just do some text inside here with AV, which stands for avatar. Okay, 
So that's going to sit on the left. On the right, I want another box. And that box inside it is going to have the heading, the title. So let's do a heading component. And we'll say the task title is going to be output there. As style props, I want to say, in fact, we'll just say as and set that equal to an H3 because the default one is an H2. And then also I want to set the size of this to be small. So this is a built-in size for Chakra. It's just small text. Okay, that will do. And then below that we'll have a text component and the text component is going to be for the author. So we'll say by and then in curly braces task dot author. All right, so now, oops, that should just be task. Now, in the header, we're going to have this on the left and then this on the right. So let's save it and preview. Okay, we get an error. Heading is not defined. Of course, it's not because we need to import it. So let's do that. Heading like so. Save it. And now that should work. All right, looking okay. So we have the title, the author, and then later on, this is going to be a little avatar as well. Plus, we have the description in the card body. All right, cool. So now just the card footer. And what I'd like to do is two buttons and they're gonna be some kind of maybe view icon and also an edit icon. So let's go back over here and come to the card footer. And inside here, we're gonna do a horizontal stack. Remember, this allows us a little bit like flex over here to put two things or three things next to each other. So we don't need all the flexibility of this flex component. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is just apply a bit of a gap to that, just so there's a bit more space. If I save that, okay, H stack is not defined. Really need to keep on top of this, save it. Now we can see a little bit more of a gap between those two. Anyway, let's get back to the H stack. That's a little bit like the flex component. So it's gonna sit different items next to each other inside here. And the two items I want are gonna be button components. So click on that to import it. So the first one right here, and I'm gonna say watch as if we're watching that particular task, a bit like you can watch a GitHub repo. And then we'll do another button down here. And this is gonna say comment, so leave a comment. Now, I also want to apply an icon to each button. If I just save it right now, we can see we have those two buttons. However, it would be nice if there was an icon on the left of each one of those. So to do that, we can use a prop called left icon, and we can set that equal to some kind of icon. So let me do that for both of these buttons. Now remember, we covered icons in an earlier lecture. All we need to do is import whatever icons we want to use. Now, when we use a button, we have to output the icon as a component, whereas before in the sidebar, when we used a list icon, we didn't. Okay, but that's because this is a component and we're actually using a left icon prop and we're passing in a component. Okay, so we're going to use the view icon for this. Click on this to import it. Make sure it does up here. Yeah, and let me close this. Same down here, but this time we're going to have the edit icon like so. All right, save that. And if we take a look, we should have those two icons. Cool. Now, you can also pass a variant prop into different components and buttons are one of those components. So I could say right here, variant, and set that equal to a variant of the button. Now, one of those variants is ghost. So let me save it just using that one as a ghost so we can see the difference. And you can see how that doesn't have a background, but when we hover over, it does. And that's the kind of button I'd like for both of these. So let's also add that variant to this one. So variant is equal to ghost like so. Save that and preview. And that's looking pretty nice. All right, cool. So there's one more thing I'd like to do and that's just to add a divider between the body and the footer. And we can do that using a divider component. So divider like so. Make sure it imports at the top and then down here, can just close it. I'm also going to add a border color to this just to color it. And the color is going to be gray 200. So a pretty light gray. Save it and preview. And that looks a lot better to me. Awesome.
So there we go, my friends. We have now these different card components looking pretty nice. Later on, we'll finish them by adding these avatars over here. I think for now, what I'd like to do is just go back to the card component itself and just add a few styles. So let me go to the card component over here. I'm going to apply a border hyphen top, which is colorized. And also, in fact, let's set the, oops, not hyphen top, it should be camel case. Let's set the width of the border to be eight pixels. And we'll set the border color. And that's going to be purple 400. And the background will set to be white because at the minute, I think it's gray. Yeah. And that should be white just so they stand out a little bit. Save that. All right. So they look a little nicer. Awesome. Okay. So I would actually like them to sit a little further down from this nav bar right here. So what we could do is we could find the nav bar itself and we could add a margin bottom. So let's do that margin bottom and set that equal to 40 pixels. See what that looks like. Save it and preview. And that looks a bit better. Awesome. Okay then my friends, so there is the card component. There's loads of different things you can do with it. Just check out the documentation. You can see we can add all these different kind of things. So uh, yeah, in the next lesson, what we're going to do is we're gonna take a look at the tabs component and we're gonna add that onto the profile page.